SHOT SHOW 2022 at the Night Corps booth with my good friend Albert. How you doing, sir? Hey, good to see you again, Stuart. Well, not really, because they just started knocking product down and banging around. We're almost like doing a, a test of, uh, of uh, endurance and uh, product. Yeah. Well, there you go, yeah. Uh, of course, you know me, subject to breaking things all the time. So how have you been the last, uh, actually, two years now? Yeah, it's been two years, but uh, we've been good. We've got a lot of new products out, um, constantly upgrading, constantly innovating. I, you know, I think that's what Nightcore is known for. So um, some of these products have been out for a little while now, but uh, we do have some, some fairly new stuff I'd like to show you today. Please do. I'll let you just kind of step right into it. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll start over here with the, the P20iX model from Nightcore. Uh, this is a tactical flashlight equipped with quad LEDs capable of outputting 4,000 lumens of light. Use a 21700 uh, battery USB-C rechargeable. Now the one I have in my hand is actually equipped with what's called the optional TSL-10i tail cap. Now this is not the tail cap that comes with it, but it can be purchased separately. This also gives you signaling and location capabilities directly built in within the tail cap. Um, it's got its own power uh, selector, so it can be turned on, off, and it can be cycled between a couple of different uh, colors and outputs. Oh wow, interesting. Green, blue, red, yellow LEDs in that tail cap. Am I correct? Is there another color in there as well? There is not. I okay. think you got them all. Oh, wow. So that is our P20iX. Very good. Uh, do we have a suggested retail price on that? Uh, the retail price on that, I believe, is $119.95. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna have to. I'll check it on the computer. We well, let's come let's, back let's in, do it this I way. I believe it's right. R approximately, yeah, thereabouts. I, 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 I think I'm right. Subject error. Yeah, there I you could go. Be wrong. Yeah. Um, close cousin to it, uh, just a little bit smaller. It's built on the one-inch tube. Uh, design uh, from front to back is the P10iX. Still using that quad LED system, 4,000 lumens of light. You're seeing this one with uh, Nightcar's NTR-10 tactical ring, which has been out for a while. So pretty much the same specs. Uh, you'll lose a little bit of throw distance on, on this particular model due to the, uh, uh, the smaller diameter of the lens, uh, but you're, you're only losing about maybe 50, 50 meters or so throw distance total. Um, and so it's a little bit more compact than the P20iX, um, but still just as capable. So that is just the kind of the little brother, so to speak. And suggested retail on that one. Ninety nine ninety five. Very good. And uh, so we, this is actually pretty new. Um, we've done a complete upgrade to one of our all time best selling headlamps, the HC sixty five. So you're now seeing the new HC sixty five V two. Um, You'll see that the whole front lens array is redesigned. We're still looking at IPX, um, IPX 68, excuse me, IPX 8 waterproof ratings. Um, we've moved to complete USB-C charging on this. This one's still going to use an 18650 battery. Um, it's still going to have two-stage red light. It's still going to have high CR, uh, but your main LED is now going to be capable of outputting. 1,750 lumens out of that headlamp. It is available uh, in what you're seeing in my hand, which is the NVG mount option, or the headband mount option. It does include the top strap. I don't have it on at the moment because of uh, it, it was just pulled from the display, but you can buy it with either the NVG mount or the standard headband option. And uh, retail on this is $84.95 on the HC65 V2. Very good. Uh, real quick, we, uh, we have actually a new signal light out. Um, if you've seen the NU05, uh, this is our NU06 model, so you can see it's a little bit uh, more substantial. 
It's going to have a longer run time. It's actually going to come with more mounting options. So you'll see this is the hook and loop mounting option. Um, it will also include a headband mounting option as well as a full four-way molly mount option as well. This particular model is going to come in our law enforcement mode, our a law enforcement model, the LE, um, which is going to do your our regular Nightcore colors, the white, red, green, blue, and strobing red, blue flashing. Um, the model that's actually in my hand is actually the uh, infrared model, so it will have an infrared uh, marker ability lo locator, right? Or whatever built yeah, in. Yeah. Obviously, we can't, we won't be able to see it, right? Um, but I was just going to ask you, in addition to the standard colors, IR would is a bit, IR is would be an option here. on what's what's called the NU06 MI model, and uh, the MI model actually has vibration built into it uh, to tell you when you can't see it that it's on. Um, so that's a nice new, uh, excuse me, a neat little feature that is going to be on the new NU06 models. And I wanted to show you the the, the newest one in our keychain lights, the T4K. It has been out a while, but we haven't done a video, Stu, since uh, 2020, I guess. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. This is, uh, this is the T4K from Nightcore. Quad LED, equipped with an LCD screen readout. Let's you know in real time how many lumens you're outputting, how much runtime you have left before this thing's gonna go dead and you'll need to recharge it. And I'll, yes. just as an aside, the, huh? one of the original versions of this, I believe, is the light that I did, you know, and we talked about it. I told you I would, from time to time, do a little torture test to just see how far we could go. This light held up to, a, if again, if I recall correctly, mm -hmm. it held up to a significant amount of uh, overt abuse on my part. I, I started gradually, mm -hmm. worked my way up, even going to the point of freezing it. In a block of ice, mm -hmm. I froze this, and of course it was, it, I left it submerged for a period of time, no leakage, no damage, I froze it, and it still powered on, it still, you know, it, it was a little funky, mm -hmm. but it would still come on after all of that. It was, it was really, uh, I, I was impressed with its ability to withstand uh, well, <laughs> my, we, my stupidity. We we do our best to, to make them as durable and it is, it's as idiot proof as possible. Um, so yeah, the Nightcore lights are going to all be built uh, built tough and oh, if, yeah. if, they, if they say they're waterproof, they're going to be waterproof and impact resistant and so forth. And again, um, even frozen proof, yeah. which, you know, there's, I don't know, there, I don't know of many electronic or lighting devices that can hold up to that of being literally frozen sure. in, a, in, a, in a block of ice. So now, uh, you know, I, I don't want to press our sure. luck here because although we are in Vegas, um, you mentioned that uh, you might give me a little uh, tea. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt something that you were oh, no. going to I think I, I love this. This just does have a detachable mount. So if you do have it uh, hooked to your belt loop or on a keychain, you can actually just quickly pull it off and use it. I did want to show you that uh, this little light, which, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge man, but uh, it fits nicely in the palm of my hand. Oh, yeah, man. will actually output 4,000 lumens of light when you need it. 4,000. 4,000. Yeah. Amazing, so, man. And sure. again, not uh, not large hands here either. So, you know, it, it, it fills my hand, and a larger person, you know, would, would be able to drop it around. Now, oops. oh, well, there we go with the tor torture testing. <laughs> Um, not very heavy. I personally probably wouldn't on, put it on keys, but and I have a tendency not to do that personally. But it's also got the clip, which would be more along the lines of what I would be looking for. And it's about the right width for for Molly attachment. You know, beautiful. So uh, you mentioned that you may give me a little teaser on something that might be coming out soon. I do. I do. I think everybody will be real excited about it. I can't go into much detail about it, but. Uh, coming in 2022, I can't tell you exactly when, I can't tell you prices, I can't tell you anything other than the newest Tiny Monster, the TM20K, will be out this year. Wow, look at that array of LEDs. It's almost spiralish. And as the name suggests, it will be able to output 20,000 lumens of light. 
That's wow. actually hot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like you're giving yourself a bit of a suntan. So yeah, look for that in 2022. The newest Tiny Monster, Nightcore, TM20K. Very good, looking forward to it. Well, listen, my brother, how are things going uh, back home? They're going, they're going great. They're actually Rocking going along. great. Um, we're, we're happy to be back traveling a little bit in the trade show market. We were only able to do one show last year. Uh, we were able to get out to Blade Show in Atlanta. Everything else uh, canceled, so we're yep. really happy to be back at, at SHOT Show. Uh, you know, traffic was a little bit lower than, but we expected that kind of thing. Yep. Um, but, you know, still all in all, it's been a really good show, and, and, and you know, we look forward to more of them uh, down the line. Absolutely. Well, and, you know, as evidence, you mentioned lower traffic. We had some attendance issues, not only by attendees, but also by uh, exhibitors. Some of the exhibitors didn't show up. I mean, here's a case in point. Uh, and and that's not a real common uh, occurrence here, sure. but it's not really unusual to see a, a vacant spot. Um, and just that's kind and of the nature you know, of things right now. The, they increased the space by quite a bit. Absolutely. Been part of it into Caesars Forum, so it, it doesn't necessarily have to be as kind of crowded as it used to. Correct. Um, so we do have a lot more space here at SHOT Show for more exhibitors even with uh, with better traffic flow, I think, as well. Now, I've heard that in addition to the expansion, uh, is it true that there was a mandatory space change? In other words, juggling, because Nightcore is not in the location where it has traditionally been. Sure. And all, I would venture to guess that almost every exhibitor, almost every exhibitor, even the ones, the large ones that are on level two, I think they're all in different locations. Uh, Did you hear that at all? or I didn't hear that at all. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I just like to think that, you know, because there were there was more space available, uh, probably less people all, all together exhibiting this year because of the, you know, COVID and the new variant. Um, I like to think that there was just better spots available. So yeah. we were we were one of them that was a candidate. And so we were happy to really pull into a, a, a more prime location for the show. A lot of a lot of traffic on this lane. It's it's against a wall and with the main entrance just down that way. Yes sir. Very good. Well listen brother, you travel safe. A little left handed shaking there and we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.